Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're celebrating the 82nd anniversary of Marian Anderson's famous concert on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. So we're first going to look at her biography and talk about some of her portraits, and then we're going to try an art project based on her music. We're going to try illustrating her music. But first, let's look at those portraits. Marian Anderson was a contralto. A contralto is a type of musical female singing voice whose vocal range is the lowest female voice type. She began singing with her church choir who helped raise money to get her lessons. There, she earned the nickname Baby Contralto. Over her years of studying, Anderson won the chance to sing in New York, and from there, opportunities followed, including a tour through Europe. By the age of 33, Anderson was famous on both sides of the Atlantic. She was invited by President Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt to sing at the White House, becoming the first African American to receive this honor. Despite her success, not all of America was ready to welcome her. She was refused a performance at Constitution Hall by the Daughters of the American Revolution because of the color of her skin. In answer to that wrong, Eleanor Roosevelt invited Anderson to perform at the steps of Lincoln Memorial on Eastern Sunday in front of a crowd of more than 75,000 people. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're speaking to you from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in the nation's capital, from which point the National Broadcasting Company brings you a song recital by the gifted Marian Anderson, considered by music critics throughout the world as possessing a most outstanding contralto voice. As we listen to her singing, try illustrating her music. Move your drawing tool in any way that you feel represents the music. If you want to make a treble clef symbol, make one vertical line up and down. From the top, make a small half circle. From the bottom of that half circle, on the opposite side, make a larger half circle. Continue that half circle on the other side, and then again on the inside of the first circle. Here's some other music symbols that you can add to your art. Over the next several decades, Anderson's stature grew. In 1961, she performed the national anthem at John F. Kennedy Jr.'s inauguration, and she was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She retired in 1965 and died in 1993 at the age of 96. Thanks so much for joining me for today's open studio lesson. We would love to see how you illustrated the music. If you wouldn't mind posting your work on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.